Many thanks for joining us on City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedu, and in this edition, a former Deputy Chief of Staff under the Mills' administration, Valerie Sawyer, launches a scathing attack on former President Rawlings and former Attorney General Martin Amidu. We'll be giving you details of what exactly she's been saying about them. Stay with us. Straight into our first story and a one-time deputy chief of staff under the SWAL NDC administration, Valerie Sawyer, has launched a scathing attack on the party's founder, Jerry John Rollins, accusing him of hypocrisy in his utterances and actions. In what seems like a no-holds-barred article, Valerie Sawyer likened Mr. Rawlings to a buzzing mosquito which finds nothing good with the party he founded. She further challenged the former president to prove if there was no blemish under his administration. The former deputy chief of staff also slammed former attorney general Martin Amidu for his writings that are critical of the National Democratic Congress. Let's now do some labor stories and over 40 unemployed university trained teachers today hit the streets to protest against what they describe as government's failure to recruit them. The group claims various attempts to get government's attention to address their concerns has become unproductive. After going through some principal streets in Accra today, they gathered at the art center to present their petition to the Deputy Education Minister, Barbara Aisi. Barbara Aisi, who received the petition, said her ministry will engage leaders of the group in a dialogue to address their issues. Now, government has stressed that it had no intention of interfering in the 2017 Kenya elections through NPP's 2016 campaign manager, Peter McMenu, who was prevented from entering the East African country as a leader of a team of election observers from the Democratic Union of Africa. This dismissal followed rumors that Peter McMenu and the governing NPP, of which he is a member, planned to meddle in the election and support the opposition leader, Raila Odinga, to create a parallel election tally result platform. The Democratic Union of Africa is noted as an umbrella body of center-right parties in Africa, which includes some opposition parties in Kenya. As Kenyans queue in polls to choose between President Uhuru Kenyatta, his long-standing rival, Raila Odinga, the government of Ghana, in a statement, denied any ploy to compromise the polls. The decision as to who leads Kenya for the next four years as president remains the sole preserve of the Kenyan people and said Mr. McMenu was in Kenya on his own accord and not the state. Away from that story and government's anti-illegal mining task force, Operation Vanguard, has lauded the active involvement of residents in their operative areas in the fight against illegal mining. The public relations officer of the task force, Major Gariba Pabi, explains information from the residents and some illegal miners have resulted in the clamping down of illegal activities of the illegal miners. Updating City News on their operations, Major Gary Rapabi called for stronger support from community members in areas they are operating. He believes this will lead to more arrests. And that will be all for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedu. Do make a date with us same time tomorrow for more news updates. Thanks for watching.